This is the Shields River, not far from where it joins up with the Yellowstone River. Historically, grizzly bears roamed in this area, but they haven't for decades. That is until recently. A landowner here not long ago captured a photo of a bear. FWP determined it was a grizzly bear, and they now know where that bear came from. You know, the bear that was here in the Shields River was seen several times. Um, it was a subadult male. Uh, we were able to uh, obtain uh, hair samples um, of this bear uh, and submit them for genetic analysis. Uh, that analysis has been completed and did show that this bear came from the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. That bear caused no damage and has not been seen since. So where is it? The answer, bear country. And so are we. And, you know, really, it, I think it just illustrates the need for awareness and, uh, and developing good habits for recreating and just being in bear country uh, because that's what Montana is. We've never seen a bear here before. No longer means much. And that means we all need to take a new approach to this landscape, meaning anywhere in Montana, basically west of Billings. Avoiding negative encounters with bears is easier than dealing with such conflicts. Uh, and, and what we do matters, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, taking steps uh, like, you know, being prepared when you're recreating, managing attractants, those things go a long way uh, toward keeping people safe, keeping bears safe, and, uh, and just allowing you to have a, an enjoyable experience while you're in bear country. That looks like carrying bear spray, uh, knowing how to use it, traveling in groups wherever possible and make noise to make your presence known to avoid surprise close encounters with grizzly bears. A few simple steps that could save your life here in bear country.